Hello friends, and thank you for watching our Sunday devotional at First Baptist Church in Prospect. And we are heading into our second week of Advent, and the theme this week is love. Uh, I'm going to do a reading, as I did last week, an Advent reading, and then I'll pray for our time together. <clears throat> Scripture proclaims that God is love. One of the key factors in Advent, in the Advent of Jesus, is the love that God has for his creation. Most specifically, his love for mankind. Jesus came because God loves us. So Christmas is rooted in love. Another amazing display of God's love is seen in the conclusion of Jesus' life at the cross. Romans 5, 8 tells us that God demonstrated his own love toward us in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. After coming to faith in Christ and having been a recipient of God's special love, followers of Jesus can live as reflections of the heart of God. During Advent, we can consider the depth of God's generous affection for us, leading us to worship him and share his love with others. Let me pray for us this morning. Gracious God, thank you for loving us. It is because of you that we can give and receive love. Father, I pray for those who have never experienced your transforming presence in their lives. May they discover your love this Christmas. Help us to be an extension of your care and your kindness to others. Work through us to transform our community, our nation, and our world. In Jesus' name, amen. I, I want us to consider this morning uh, the prominent place, um, the prominent role uh, that, that love plays in God's overarching plan. God's, God's plan for redemption, to, uh, to make himself known to mankind and also to uh, bring us into a relationship with him. And consider, too, that God's love is different from yours and mine. Um, God's love is perfect. It is unaffected and eternal because it is just like God. The uh, title of my devotional this morning is Love Came Down at Christmas, which is the title of a Christmas carol you may be familiar with. And I'm going to be using a very familiar uh, passage of scripture, just one verse for this devotional this morning. And that verse is John 3.16. And let me, let me just read it. You, you probably know it, but I'll read it anyway for us. For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. The advent of Jesus, his incarnation, um, was a display of divine love. There's really two simple yet powerful truths um, in this brief verse that I want to bring out uh, for us today. Just real briefly, just two things uh, that we see as we focus on um, Advent, as we focus on love. First of all, we see in this verse, in John 3, 16, we see that love gave it says there, for God so loved the world that he gave his uniquely born son, his only begotten son. God gave. Love gave. This is how God loved humanity, by giving the most extraordinary gift. Divinity and eternal, unique Son of God took on flesh. God himself came to us 
became a man. And his purpose was to redeem mankind, to save us, to restore us in our relationship with him. And so we see, first of all, in this, this very familiar verse, we see that love gave. The second thing that we see in this verse is that faith gains Listen to what it says. It says that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. This is how we actually come into a relationship with God. It says whoever believes, that is the word for faith. Um, to have faith in, to rest your life in to fully embrace Jesus, not, not just as a person, not just, yes, I, I believe that Jesus existed, not that. It's to put your faith in him, to embrace him as your savior, as the leader of your life, uh, as Lord. That's what we would call, uh, you know, embracing Jesus, not only as savior, but as Lord, as he would would lead your life, that you would be a follower of Jesus. But there is more uh, to this, I think, uh, as we think about love and we think about Advent. Advent love is not static. Um, it does not only, God's love does not only remain in this John 3.16 place as, as we see this gift uh, of love. It doesn't just stop with that. We don't just, we don't just look at um, the birth of Jesus, the advent of Jesus, and say, oh yeah, there's an extraordinary gift of love, and it just stops and stays there. God's love that came to us can also flow through us. And I think that's really what is at the heart of really grasping um, love during Advent as we celebrate and reflect on the arrival uh, of Jesus. We, we read later toward the end of Jesus' life in John 13, 35, Jesus was talking to his disciples and here's what he says. Let me, let me just read it for you. In John 13, in verse 35, he says, by this, all people will know that you are my disciples if you have love for one another. So there it is. Jesus tells us that this love came to us so that it can flow through us. Um, love for others, uh, a symbol of our true faith as Jesus followers. And in this... Um, Christmas Carol, that was originally a poem, Love Came Down at Christmas, uh, was originally a poem written by Christina, Christina um, Rossetti. And in this Christmas Carol, it says, Love shall be our token. Love for God and love for all men. That love is, is this token, this symbol for us, not only that God loved us, but that we can, in return, extend that love to others. She says, love for God and all men. Consider how different um, the world would be, or how different your community, your neighborhood would be, if we lived out this ideal that we just loved everyone. It's hard to do. Um, it's hard to do because evil exists. It's hard because hurt people hurt people, as the saying goes. However, all is not lost because of Advent. All is not lost because love did come down on that first Christmas. And uh, I'm going to tell you something. You've heard this before. You've sung this before. Jesus loves you. That, that's not just a kid's song. 
This is a truth for us to embrace. Knowing and pursuing Jesus and experiencing his love, we are also enabled to love. So let me ask you to consider what are some what are some simple ways that you can love others this week? So let me encourage you. Take some time not only to ponder um, Advent love, the, the love that sent Jesus into our world, but think about how you can extend that love to others. What are some simple ways that you can reflect God's love? Let me also encourage you to pause often this week to bask in God's love for you. And you know, for followers of Jesus, Romans chapter 8 tells us, at the end of Romans chapter 8, it tells us that nothing can separate us from the love of God for those who are in Christ. So take time this week, friends, to, to thank God for his love, to praise him, to worship him. Uh, let me close our time. I know this has been brief this morning. I'm going to close our time with reading another familiar verse about love um, from Paul's letter to the Corinthians, 1 Corinthians 13. And he closes that chapter by saying this, So now faith, hope, and love abide, these three, but the greatest of these is love. Be well, friends. I hope you have a great week. I hope you will take time out, slow down during Advent. That's what we do during Advent. It's a time to slow down. Um, you are loved by God. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, blessings to you this week. Hope to see you soon. Take care.